and multiple churches felt the effects of the coronavirus Sunday as many were forced to close their doors. Reporter Sydney Gray shows us how some use technology so they could still share their sermon. Pastor Selwyn Backus wants people to have faith now more than ever. God is still in control, and in spite of what's going on, we believe that God has the last say. Like so many other churches in the area, Salem Baptist Church closed its doors Sunday in an effort to stop the possible spread of coronavirus. Their service still went on, however, thanks to live streaming on Facebook. Salem wasn't alone. Ambassadors Worship Center and Christ Community Church also offered virtual church services. So we're grateful for that opportunity. But to be very honest, nothing replaces uh, the communal aspect of gathering together for worship. Backus, who's been a pastor for more than two decades, says he noticed the role of technology in the church drastically changed over the past 10 years. I saw it becoming a part of the life of the church, but never thought that there would come a day where for many churches it would be the sole opportunity for us to worship. Following the health department's guidelines for public gatherings of 250 people or less, the Archdiocese of Omaha is no longer obligating Catholics to attend Mass. St. Gerald Catholic Church still held Mass Sunday morning, but limited the amount of people inside. They preach about God's trying to show us something and he's going to take care of everything. We take a lot of stuff for granted, you know, and everybody's panicking and, you know, you're supposed to learn something from it. Jane Kovac has been a member of St. Gerald for more than 30 years. God is going to take care of everything. Absolutely, it's your faith. I believe that we ought to have faith uh, that no matter how uh, it looks right now, that God is going to get us through this. Sydney Gray reporting. Pastor Backus says his church is working on a plan to improve its technology should the public gathering limit continue. He says for now all church activities are canceled.